Hi, my name is Leanne Falder. I'm a food writer for the Edmonton Journal. This is my colleague, Brent Whitmire. Together we tackled an enormously important assignment for the journal. We reviewed 14 different brunch spots in Edmonton to try and come up with the best brunches citywide. Tough assignment, hey Brent? It was a real hardship. Uh, <laughs> going out every weekend, uh, having to you know eat Eggs Benedict and other, other dishes and all that stuff. Really, 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 really tough. But actually, no, it, it wasn't so hard. Uh, but the tough part was having to come up with winners. Yes. Yeah. And we had three categories that we sort of decided on. Mm -hmm. We had a, a kind of a high-end category called Made for a Marriage Proposal, which was for restaurants that were just a little bit more special than your average. Then we had a middle category called Made for Mother's Day, also lovely restaurants that would be suitable for a special occasion. And then the last category, which was Brent's personal favorite, <laughs> was More Like Moms, which was more about dying. Just regular food and uh, uh, atmosphere and, and things like that. And there were five restaurants in this category, and very tough to whittle it down, but the two that sort of stood out to me were, were Hathaway's Diner uh, in North Edmonton and uh, uh, the Blue Plate Diner. And tough, tough choice because they're so different, but Blue Plate Diner ended up being the winner for me. And why at the end of the day? Well, there's a few things. Um, I, I think we discussed dessert was a big thing. And yeah. You, you're especially passionate about this. As an aside, <laughs> Some brunch spots, Brent, as you may have noticed, don't include dessert on their menu. I was shocked. It's a travesty. By. <laughs> yeah. But the Blue Plates dessert Blue, was good? Blue Plates dessert put him over the top. I mean, Hathaway's also had dessert, but Blue Plate, uh, we had this ice cream cookie, which was fantastic. Uh, um, but the food was really great. Uh, atmosphere was really cool. And it's, it was right outside of the, uh, the downtown farmer's market, which sort of gave it a little bit of an ambiance edge, which mm -hmm. sort of pushed it in that higher category for me. Yeah. Um, so then there's the second category. Made for Mother's Day. Yeah. Uh, again, I was a uh, tough job. Uh, there was five restaurants in that category as well. And uh, to me, it came down again to two, two basic ones. Uh, one of them was, well, one of them was yours, uh, the Enjoy Center. The Enjoy Center. Center, which I really, really thought was lovely. Beautiful, beautiful setting, you know, virtually in the country. Really great farm to fork food. Uh, excellent atmosphere, good service. It was a, it was a, it was a top choice as well. Yeah. But it wasn't the winner. Yeah, okay, I, I went with high under the high wheel, yeah. which is this really great organic, uh, uh, lots of good desserts, lots of good coffee, um, really good atmosphere. A little pricier, but just excellent attention to food yeah. and to detail, and mm -hmm. it was. It was great. And very great. popular and buzzy, that spot. You always feel like you're somewhere where something really fun is happening when you're under the high wheel. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. yeah. And then the last category, which was the slightly higher end category called Made for a Marriage Proposal, was my purview. <laughs> <laughs> and there were four restaurants in that category. The Manor, Casual Bistro, Canteen, uh, Hotel McDonald, and Wildflower. And uh, for me, too, it came down to two at the end of the day as well. Canteen. Um, had a really lovely, very sort of carefully crafted menu. But at the end of the day, my favorite spot for a really lovely brunch was the Manor Casual Bistro. And what was, what was the one that, what, what pushed you over the top there? Every single thing we had was beautifully executed. And at the end of the day, you know, good food is what it's all about. It's a, a, quite an extensive menu, it isn't the trendiest menu, you know, they didn't have a lot of bacon jam on that menu. But every single thing came out of the kitchen in top order. And I have to say, they had a stunning dessert plate. Really lovely desserts. Um, and that, for me, That's as you know, it. it's, got it. you it's got very, have very important. Yeah. 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 So at the end of the day, we had a wonderful experience and came up with some really fantastic places that we're hoping our readers will all be able to try. Yeah. And now we're going to have to figure out how to lose the weight that we gained. Yeah. <laughs>